Welcome to Muddy River News This Week, sponsored by Harvey's. My name is David Adam. I'm filling in for Bob Goff, who's on the mend this week. And normally when you join us uh, at, at this location and this time, Bob is talking to dignitaries throughout the city, the mayor, councilmen, state representatives, college presidents, all the people that are uh, making important decisions in the city of Quincy. That's not happening today. Instead, we're going to talk about an infamous rock band that is, well, I've been told they're going to be retiring for the uh, fourth, fifth, sixth time. We're really not sure. Randy Phillips is joining us this morning. He has a big smile on his face because we know that this is supposed to be the last performance of the yes. infamous Maulers, but we know that that statement has been said many times in the past. Well, yeah, we've cried wolf a couple times on that, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, this, this will be our, our, our final performance. We uh, uh, got together and talked about it for quite a while. We thought, you know, when, instead of this, you know, us turning into these old guys and it's this big joke, let's go ahead and go out on top. Explain <laughs> to the viewers wh who the Maulers are in, in regard to the, the, the type of band that you are, who are the other per uh, participants in the band, and and uh, how you guys got started. Yeah, okay, so to begin with, uh, you know, the comment I just made, it, yeah, it is a joke f from the start, from the get-go. <laughs> um, the way we got going on this was in 1983, okay. So, so, that, so that would, you'd have been like two or three years I old? Was, yeah, I was, yeah, not more than like five years old of at the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in 1983, there was a, an, and to, to be completely open and honest about this, we are an air band. We are not a real music playing band. This is all pre-recorded music, but we get up there with real guitars, real drums, real stage effects and everything like that and put on a show and people are just dying to see some kind of entertainment show more than just, you know, hear some good music. They want to see a show. So we got into an air band contest at Quincy College at the time and, um, and we won. And so then the next time they had one, they said, well, you got to come back and defend your title. And we said, okay, we'll do that. Yeah, sure. So we came back, we defended our title and we won again. The third time they had it, they, we said, do you want us to come back and do it again? They said, no, you win every time. We can't have you do that. Said, well, how about we just be an exhibition act? They said, okay, yeah, sure, do that. Came back and everybody had a good time. This then started to blossom. At the time, myself and several other the guys in the band um, were either in bands or worked for bands doing lighting and staging and things like that. And I used to go out and do tour work for big name rock bands and everything too. And uh, we would, uh, at different outdoor festivals in the summer, uh, in between sets, the Maulers would come on and play and put on a little show you know, and have a little, you know, get together there and have, have a good time. Uh, this blossomed. Uh, it, it went on for quite a while. Uh, we played at uh, several festivals in the area and uh, were not the headline act, but the second from headline act. And then eventually uh, it kind of, you know, drifted away as time goes by and everything like that and people start doing other things. Um, in about 1997, uh, I was working at one of the TV stations here in town, and one of the people I worked with, I was telling him about the Maulers and telling him the story of how we used to do this and then He said, well, I've got this huge backyard. I live out in Deer Ridge. I've got this huge backyard. You guys ought to come out there. We could have a day-long party, and it would be a great thing. Okay, sure. So November 1st of 1997, we had Mauler Palooza. <laughs> and and about about a hundred people showed up and we got all done with it and everything and people said that was the coolest thing I've ever seen you guys got to do that again and it's not just like I said not just us pretending to be a band and and doing this on stage and having some some stage effects and everything like that uh, we also had a since I am a video guy um, we had some some videos that went along with it of some local dignitaries telling how much, oh, they remembered the Maulers from back in their growing up days, and this was a great thing, and, and so that yeah. added to the storyline. This went on, we had Mauler Palooza, uh, November 1st of 97, the following summer we had Mauler Stock, that uh, Halloween, in October of 98 we had uh, Maulloween, next year we had the Millennium Show in 99. There seems to be a theme with this. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just catching on to this right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, you, you go with your strengths. <laughs> So, so this and this went on, and we had had some really good shows out there. And I literally, 
you know, 20 plus years later, I still have people come up to me and go, aren't you one of those guys that was in that thing out in Deer Ridge? Yeah, that's us. Yeah. And so, so, the, so the one in Deer Ridge was kind of the one that sort of set everything into motion for all of these other, it was that, a, that was, that was, that was the, the crowning moment, I guess. It was kind of a defining uh, point in our career, yeah, uh, as a fake band. <laughs> <laughs> Is there really a defining moment in the career of a fake band? Well, there was for that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Describe, tell the people, now we know, I, I believe state law may not allow some of the band members to be co congregating in, in one place at one time. Um, but well, federal, the, federal laws. Federal actually. laws yeah, okay. as well. Uh, but uh, let the listen, who, who's, who's part of this band? Well, my, myself, I'm the lead singer. Um, we originally had uh, a different uh, gentleman that we had, we, we all have character names. I'm, I'm Peter Thruster uh, in the band. Um, we had um, two brothers, two guys that looked like brothers but actually weren't brothers. Uh, we had Eddie and Alex Vass Deferens. And then Eddie, um, we, our, our storyline of this is that our, our manager early on signed us to a 99-year non-revocable contract where he gets 75% of all of our profits. <laughs> um, so he kept us on the road playing 365 days a year, sometimes uh -huh. two and three shows a day. Sure. So he could make more money. Yeah. Um, and um, we finally got uh, some time off while we were in Hawaii on a, on a, on a gig, and Eddie, uh, went out with his then girlfriend, whose name was Ginger, and they went out on a, a three-hour tour on a little boat. And they, mm -hmm. We haven't seen them since. We uh, don't know what happened. I've, I've heard that's happened before. Yeah, that's it, well, this, that, that's not a rare circumstance. It's a three-hour tour. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that happened. So Eddie, uh, actually the guy that was Eddie, uh, he uh, went a different direction in his sure. life and decided not to continue with us. Um, I think he lives in Texas or somewhere now. Anyway, um, but uh, Sam Middendorf is Alex. Uh, we have uh, uh, his brother, John, who is uh, the bassist, Slats Magnum. Um, we have um, uh, a guy named Kevin Hubble. He lives down near St. Louis now. Uh, he is a uh, bitch pasty. And the drummer is Jim Smith, and that is Joe Middendorf here in town. So we've been together now going on 40 years doing this and having a good time with it. And uh, we, we took, again, took a few years off after the Deer Ridge shows. Uh, eventually went to... Um, uh, we had to get together down at the Southside Boat Club for a guy's birthday party and did it down there one time, which was kind of a, you know, just kind of a blow-off show, just having fun with it and stuff. Uh, myself and my then-girlfriend, now wife, got married out at our house out in, uh, out in rural uh, Adams County. And we um, thought, well, if we're going to have a Halloween wedding, which is what we had, the band's got to be the Maulers. So the I Maulers, think that goes without being said. Maulers got back together and played again. We did that out at our house. And again, people like, that was so much fun. That was so cool. We got to do that again. Well, we've had multiple shows out there now. And now, again, it's, we're approaching the 40-year mark. We originally had the, from 1980 through 1999, was the World Carnage Tour. Then we thought, okay, let's call it quits. So we had the, the Farewell Tour, which was going to, we said, let's make it 2000 through 2021. And that was in 2000 we said that. Oh, really? And we thought, ah, oh, that's, that's hilarious. A 21-year Farewell Tour. We'll never do that. <laughs> Here it is, 2021. And we said, okay, that's it, we're done. We're Tell, done. All right, so if I were to come to a Mahler event, can you describe what I would get to watch? Um, we have, we, we'll have a, a video uh, section at the beginning of the, the, the performance. Um, we will then uh, take the stage, um, and this is put on as a, an actual performance, an actual concert, it's the kind of thing you would go to a big arena and see, only it's in a much smaller arena area. And um, we, uh, uh, I think this time we're doing like seven or eight songs. This actually is going to be about the longest show we've ever done. Uh, How long does it typically last then? 23 minutes this time. So, <laughs> so, so and for guys our age, that's, that's a long time to be doing what we're doing. Um, so we, um, we will go on. There will be, uh, like I said, a lot of stage effects, a lot of um, uh, some pyrotechnic and things like that. Well, I understand. Um, wasn't there a, an incident where the um, the manager's hair was on, caught, the, the, uh, caught on fire? Well, did, not events? not hair, but we did have uh, one of the uh, one of the stage crew. Uh, a cinder went down, and he's got a, still got a burn mark on his back. He's happy to let us know about it anytime mm -hmm. he can, uh, and he'll be there this time helping out again. So, so it's it's kind of a you know a, a scar of a distinction, uh -huh. uh, like a dueling scar or whatever you want to say, but. Uh, but yeah, so, and we, we put it on, like I said, as a real performance, and we have uh, other people uh, participate in it. We'll have uh, some, uh, some folks from the audience come up and do things. And then in this case, there's going to be some, uh, some uh, 
audience partition, participation parts where you know, we have some glow sticks and, and we have some things we give out to the crowd and everything like that. And it's a, it's a, it's a good reason for a bunch of people to get together and have a good time and have a party. And we are we're out in the it's open air, mm -hmm. so we're going to be as careful as we can about the COVID situation and everything right. like that. Um, when and um, we'll we do have you know hand sanitizer and everything like that. So it, it'll be a, a, a good time. All right. So now you've had different names for all of your concerts: the the Mahler stock, and, and you're wearing your Mahleroo. Mahleroo, yes. Yeah. Uh, have you named this one? Uh, this one, uh, we had a couple different thoughts. Uh, we're just calling it The End. Ah. Yeah. Appropriate enough. Yeah. Uh, how many people, what's the largest crowd you've ever played in front of? Um, out in the Deer Ridge shows, we, we did not never get an exact number because it was just open air and it was, you know, anybody wanted to show up, show up. But we're, our best estimate on one of those, we had right around a thousand people in this guy's backyard. Wow. So, and, and several of the others, there was at least five to 600 people at them and stuff. So. Okay, so you started in 83. So just by simple math, you're probably in your early 40s, right? Sure. Clo close enough. I'll, I'll give you that. Thank yeah. you. Um, why still do this? <laughs> well, like I said, it's a good reason. Do you get asked that a lot by like maybe your wife or others, others like that? My wife is, um, uh, very happy to have this because it's a good reason to have people out and have a good time and, and see people maybe we haven't seen and you know and old friends we that right. have drifted away and everybody gets involved with life and everything like that and it's a good reason for a bunch of old friends to get together and that's what this really is it's it's a reason for us to get together and Absolutely. have a good time um, but why do why do we still do it it's it's exactly that it's a good reason to have a good time and and pretend like we're not the age that we are <laughs> we don't really want to let we anybody don't. know what that is. <laughs> Um, um, but basically, all of the band, other than the original lead singer, is still together, right? Well, the, the original lead guitar player. Lead guitar player is, yeah. is, is still together. Yeah, still the original band. One of, one of the guys um, is not going to be able to make it this time, and that is, it's a COVID concern. His, he, had, he had some cancer situation mm -hmm. a few years ago, and his wife has uh, some, some bad lung problems and everything mm -hmm. like that, so he had to bow out this time. But uh, he's, he'll, he's there with us in spirit, and, and we are going to uh, next spring sometime get together and not have a Maulers show, but have a good right. get-together where we can all get together and hang how, out and have now, a good now time. Now, how did the name Maulers come together? You know, one, I, I can tell you who gave us the name. It's, it's the bass player, John. Mm -hmm. um, but how it happened, I really don't know. We kind, of, we kind of just were sitting around, you know, spitballing ideas about names and stuff like that, and that's the name he came up with. And you guys were all in stuff. college when this basically was done. You, more or, just, or less, just, just out of, just just out out of college. college, yeah. And yeah. sitting around just going, I mean, you know, what has to be happening for you guys to decide, hey, let's create a fake air band that's going to be around <laughs> for the next 40 years. Yeah, that was, well, the intention was to get through the, uh, the first uh, 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 air band contest, and then they said, come back and do it again. And, well, okay, let's do it again. And it, it just kind of kept snowballing from there and kept on going. So, but yeah, like I said, we, we've had people, I still have people to this day come up to me uh, ever so often and say, aren't you one of the, the guys in that band that played out there in Deer Ridge? Yeah, that was us. Yeah, yeah. And um, we actually one year had uh, one of the, the get togethers. It was the uh, summer of 98 show. We had a, that and apparently a man and woman met that day for the first time. The following year, I was out shooting video somewhere, and some guy walked up to me and said, "Hey, aren't you one of those?" Yeah, yeah. He said, "Me and my my wife met at your at your at your get together at that party." Oh, that's cool. And he goes, "Yeah, we're getting married this next Saturday." I said, "Need a band?" This next Saturday? Yeah. Well, we're playing this next Saturday. Can you guys come out there in your in your wedding clothes? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Well, they never showed, but they were they were getting married a year mm -hmm. later on the exact day as the Maulers were playing again. So. So, you know, touched by a Mahler. So. <laughs> uh, now, the history of the, of, of the Maulers is you have a website, right? We, we did have a website. The website just kind of went away after a few years. Okay. We, we're, on, we're on Facebook. You can, you can find us on Facebook. And, um, um, you know, anybody that's anybody knows who the Maulers are. Well, I, that I think is, is for sure. That's why we would have you on, on, <laughs> on, on, on here. Do you have a favorite Maulers moment? Is there one story that whenever you talk about the history of the Maulers, you go, 
it wouldn't be complete if we didn't tell this story. I, I do, but I can't tell it on the air. Oh, well. <laughs> no, no, but I'll give you another one, though. Okay, we'll take, we'll take number two on <laughs> the list. It's a family audience. We'll, I can't we'll tell you to that go, We'll have to go to the Plus channel um, to be able to get the first yeah, version. Yeah. Um, we, um, uh, we were playing um, down at uh, the Landing Water Park. And it was, again, in between you know, the real band playing and stuff. We went up and did our thing and stuff. Came off, came off stage and got done with everything. And you know, I went back and I was running lights for the real band that night and went back. And the guy came up to me uh, while I was running lights, came over and, and said, wow, I, you, you, guys are, you guys are great. Oh, well, hey, thanks a lot, man. He goes, you, you sound just like Sammy Hagar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I would hope so. Yeah. He goes, oh, your nails, man, your nails. I said, I'm what? And he goes, your nails. Okay. So I guess that's good. I, you know, I guess that, you know, you can go, you hard can, driving or something, when, whatever. When they put it on the gravestone, yeah, he, he, was sounded, he sounded like Sammy Hagar. He was nails, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, and good luck. I mean, it sounds like this yeah. would be a fun time and a great chance to just to get together with a bunch of old friends. It is, it is. And like I said, it's, it's, we've never tried to hide the fact that we're a fake band or anything like that. We're not trying to play ourselves off as a real thing. This is, a, this is a, an entertainment thing, and it's something to get together with a bunch of folks and have a good time. Thanks. Hey, good thank luck. you, guys. And thank you for joining us. Uh, hopefully next week we'll have some more dignitaries, but you, you enjoyed our little spin uh, away from uh, the serious side of things to listen to a band that has quite, quite honestly been quite popular around uh, Quincy and these parts for quite some time. Thank you for joining us and for Muddy, Rivers, Muddy, Muddy River News this week. Uh, sponsored by Harvey's, I'm David Adams.